For a few years now, we have been following the case of Brandon Brown. He shot a man outside a bar in 2008, and since then he has been considered a trailblazer for prison reform and education. Brown was back in court today requesting an early release from probation so he can better continue his advocacy work. Brown's attorneys say if anyone deserves this, it's him, while the DA's office says he deserves to keep serving time for his violent crime. News Center Maine's David Guildford has more from the courtroom. All rise. Brandon Brown will have to wait a little longer to find out if he's truly a free man. I'll get a decision as quickly as I can. Now living in Gilead, Brown is nearly four months into a four-year probation. He's requesting to end his probation now. He'd already served 12 years in prison for a 2008 attempted murder conviction for shooting and partially paralyzing a man in an altercation outside a Portland bar. He left prison early for good behavior. Behavior, his attorneys believe, is extraordinary. Um, he's the perfect candidate for someone to have their probation early. Since being sent to prison, Brown dedicated himself to education and outreach, earning multiple degrees, a first for a Maine inmate. He's now working on his PhD. You work with probation to slowly start normalizing back into the community. He's volunteered and worked multiple jobs mentoring students and incarcerated Americans around the country. And use this as a, as a platform, as something that can project you into a positive future instead of pulling you into a negative one. In 2021, former Representative Jeffrey Evangelos shared a letter Brown's victim wrote to him in support of commuting the rest of Brown's prison sentence. I hope this helps toward an early release for you. We believe Brandon, with all of the many things that he has done to improve himself, to improve the lives of those around him, deserves that opportunity. The state does not agree. Don't we have a right to expect that someone who's committed such a terrible crime will then make themselves employable, which is what he has done? Assistant District Attorney Meg Elam said it's great Brown has rehabilitated, but said it was her pleasure to bring the original case against him because of the severity of the crime, and she believes he has not served enough. Three months of probation is not an adequate substitute for the four years of probation he was sentenced to. The judge will review additional documents and make a decision, though we don't yet know when. In Portland, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Now, Brown was an early participant in Maine's expanded supervised community confinement program before moving to probation. Governor Mills did not sign the bill that expanded the program and in previous years denied Brown's request to have his sentence commuted.